Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is part two of VHS Violent Horror Stories. But before we get into it, I have to, I have to start with an apology. In my last video, I failed to see the answer to a puzzle on the wall. Mr. Dutch Mastered took the time and patience to make a comment, and I appreciate the feedback. Thank you, firstly, for going through my catalogue of videos, and I can only try to do better for you, Mr. Dutch Mastered. I will do better for you. In my defence, at the time of recording, in the UK we were going through a heatwave, and my brain stops functioning after a certain amount that the temperature goes up to. So I do apologise. I will do better. I will do better for you, Mr. Dutch Mastered. But uh, in all seriousness, uh, thank you for commenting. And yeah, give me feedback. Give me critiques. I, I want you to see the videos and shout when I've messed up. Please do. Anyway, let's start. So in the first game, in the, when the last video, sorry, we played all along the Tomb Tower, which was a little cat called Bubsy that we named him going through an existential crisis. Um, then we played the second game. How do I go back from this? No, I don't want to, I don't want to play you. Ah, there we go. So, oh, I can see. We can... In the second game, we played Sensation, where we were a reporter. Uh, I wasn't yeah, I wasn't too fangled on that one. We are now going to be playing I Ate Old Man's Liver, Now This Bitch Is Mine, a psychological art house horror about the loss of virginity. So without further ado, let's stick this bad boy in and let's begin. Oh, okay, here we go. Every day, the same damn thing. Screwdriver up my ass. Maybe, maybe you should... Oh. Well, that's just not very nice now, old man. Wow. I'm moving to the left. Okay. Oh. The other left? Can't you see where you're going? This guy? I don't like this guy. No? That's not what you wanted? In my day, a man could handle a sled with his pinky and satisfy half a dozen women. Wow. Why the hell did you take this job, imbecile? <laughs> Running away from your bitch, are you? Jacob, I feel, is going to have some kind of aneurysm by the end of this. Now he's just mumbling. What did you mumble, moron? I haven't found one yet. Don't tell me. And then we sat in silence for a while as the dogs carried on their journey. I don't want to hear it, old man. I don't want to hear your story. A man worked in a cliff. Worked so hard that seagulls mistook his ass for a nest. Huh. And he was happy. At least he had some company. Not the greatest of stories, I must admit, but, um, hey. So, I wonder if the old man is Jacob's grandfather. Oh, what, what does that mean? There's something just turned up, finally. What's turned up on the TV screen? The best angle. Those dancing girls? Okay. No, don't do it. Not while I'm sitting next to you, man. Come on. Oh, can I... How do I... How do I come out of this? I'm not letting you do that. Not next to me. How... How does this TV have electricity? We're on a sled. Come on, Jacob, be a man. Stand up to him. I speak here, bitch. Oh. Oh, wow. Come on, Jacob. Oh, 
Oh, we gotta do it. Yeah, bye bye, old man. That's it. Jacob has gained his independence. Jacob has gained. Uh, what the? What am I looking at here? Oh, that's the dog. You want to give me something? Hmm. Oh, it's the old man's liver. Sure, why not? I'm assuming that we pushed him off the sled and he's now dead. And now we're... But am I turning into a cannibal? I don't, I don't know about that, Jacob. Oh, now the wolves are talking to us. <laughs> yeah, Jacob, I think... I think you're going crazy. When animals start talking to you, unless you're Mr. Doolittle... Do you know what a true alpha male needs? What? Uh-oh. Now we have one of the dancers. Jacob is tripping balls. I... I... Oh, now we're flying in the... Uh, I don't know if we're... Are we meant to... Oh, we're meant to be trying to get to her. But I see. We're avoiding the trees. I think. I think that's what's going on in Jacob's head. I'm not entirely sure. He ate the old man's liver. And now he is gone off the reservoir. Gotta chase that dragon, Jacob. You gotta chase the ballerina woman for all she's worth. Look at her dancing. Look at her prancing. We have the moron dog, we have the alpha male dog, and we have the brown noser. What that means, I'm not entirely sure. They've been very quiet because I have to concentrate and not hit the trees. And this is for you, Mr. Dutch Master. I will not fail you this time. I will not be hit by trees. We will catch the ballerina lady that was on the TV previously, but now is dancing in front of my sled. Oh, okay, we hit a tree there. Did the old man have the best villain scream? I like the reference. We're fly are we meant to be flying towards the... I can't look, so I can't... I can only look forward, and we've lost one of the dogs. Okay. I will try not to. I don't know what the... Oh, oh the old man's there. Oh my god. The old man is like some weird cockroach in the Antarctic. He's not letting me turn right. That's not great. Do we crash him into the wall, maybe? He's pushing against us, and now my sight is a little bit restricted because I'm trying to look at him. I'm not going to lose any more doggos. I'm not going to lose any more wolves. There we go. We got rid of him. We got rid of him. This this is kind of escalated. Oh, now he's on the left-hand side. Now the old man's on the left-hand side. That's okay. I feel like we've got... Them. Oh, no. We got one more dog. We got one more wolf. The old man is pushing my sled. There we go. We can make it with one dog. We can do this. We can catch the ballerina. No. No, old man. I can't let Mr. Dutchmaster down on this one. I can't fail. God damn it. Okay, so I failed. That's okay. She gave us a kiss. We're all good. We're back. We're back with our three wolves. I'll try and keep all of them. The old man has turned into some Kafka-esque cockroach. But everything's okay. Oh, we lost the dog. Don't worry. Oh dear. 
You see, because the camera is focusing on the old man, I'm not entirely sure what is a gap and what isn't a gap. Like, there we go. There's a gap. We got rid of him. That's good. We can do this now. Hopefully there's a checkpoint. Because we've only got one wolf. Oh, he's back. He's back. The old man is back. Shouldn't... Oh. I don't know how I cheese that one. But I... What? What did I hit? What did I hit there? Right, we don't die until we get to the ballerina female. This is this is quite an interesting concept. Um, I'm glad the old man is no longer with us. Because I was getting kind of Harvey Weinstein vibes off the guy. I don't know where we're racing to, but we're going to save the doggos this time. We're going to do it. Don't hit the trees. We're going to mine the boulders. We're going to get rid of... What did I hit? No. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad work on my part. No, nope. just when you thought he wasn't coming back, the old man's back. There we go. We try to aim for the rocks. It at least gives us a small... No. Okay. This is going to be a bit of trial and error. We just need to hit the old man into the rocks, just to give us that few moments of respite, you know? I think he was meant to come back there, but he didn't. We've got our three doggos. Everything is good in life. There we go. That's working. That's working now. Because I can actually see what's going on in front. No. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. This is going to be the run. This is going to be the run. I feel it in my bones. In my cold, wintry bones. He's back. The old man is back. There we go. Just push him into the rocks. Oh, you little sly little dinkum there. Jiminy Cricket, we're back with a lady. Šefe blagoželau, ty našel svoju princesu. Proče? Kogo ja obmanuvaju? <laughs> Tvoj mozg jak si to od avitaminova. Oh, vitamin deficiency. Is that right? Jedin te na živo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That probably would have been the logical, realistic version of what happened. There you have the um the, the sound of the, the wolves just um eating me alive. Yeah. Yeah. Well there you go guys, that was I ate the old man's liver, now this bitch is mine. Um <laughs> That that just that started on at an eleven, and then just peaked at like a fifteen. Um, I like the concept. It's it's basically you know just trying to save your three lives or the three doggos that you've got, uh, whilst having the old man cockro cockroach, you know, trying to take you off course. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm glad the old man didn't get his winky out when he saw when he saw the ballerinas. That 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 could have gone somewhere dark. Um, and yeah, I, I suppose Jacob, for one slight second, found his independence by pushing the old man off, but then also sealed his own fate. Right, let's get into the next one. No, I'm not a human. I'm a poster. Uh, an intimate story about a disaster and guests from underground. Interesting. Let's begin. So we are in control. There is someone at the door, but we're not going to open it just yet. We're just going to explore our surroundings. I can't seem to do anything, so maybe I do have to open the door. There's a bit of a green sepia tone to everything. I guess we open the door. People from the cities have already started coming to the neighbors. People have changed a lot. Okay. If they come to your place, you just let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard of people being killed by other people. Now I hear these st stories more and more often. 
An acquaintance said that creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come and who knows what's next. Alright, what's going on out there? It's safe to look out the windows at night. And I even recommend it. That way you at least realize what surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Is it better not to leave the house now? Wait, what do we now? Yeah, what do we do now? Let's summarize. There's going to be people coming in at night. You decide who to let in, who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll be told later by the authorities what to do. Look in the windows. You don't know what's going on. And keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight. In my cabinet? How small are you? And tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon and we'll talk. Okay. So I'm getting the vibe of like, I'm not your I'm not your neighbor. This is going to be, we're going to have to try and distinguish who is human and who's not. Are there any windows? Can I look out this window now? It's nighttime, I guess, so... It's like the old bunker game, you know? You've got to, you've got to let people in. Some kind of natural... Oh, I see. There's a bed. So let's go to sleep. Good morning, dear viewers. It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record, and it seems the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification. But they assure us there's no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in the town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. Okay. So, that was the news. What, what is our little... Oh, I see, that'll be... Can I turn around? Do I have to watch the TV? You watch graceful ballerinas gliding across the stage, performing beautiful pirouettes. Classical dance brings back warm childhood memories and make you think of beautiful things. I, I kind of want to look out the window. Can I can I do that? How do I turn around? Oh, there we go. We push space. So if I... Can I look out the window then? The guy at the very beginning said to... Right, so different rooms have different things in them. I see. Interesting. Oh, it's our friend. Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. So think hard about who you want to talk to. And one more thing, checking people for signs of guests should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide you've talked to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen, have a cold one from the fridge. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. Hmm. That's kind of weird, don't you think? Let me preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else, but still have the strength, drink beer in the kitchen. There's one in the fridge I bought you to chill. It'll make you so sleepy. And wait for help. If they call evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard that at night someone walks around asking if you're home alone. If you open the door, don't say that you're alone. Alright, what's to say that you're not a goddamn alien? Huh? So I've used up another- right. I'm getting the concept of this now. I'm understanding. So I could open the beer, but I don't want to at the moment. I want to really look out the window, because our our friend, we're gonna call him Petrov. Let's open the pantry. Anything in the pantry? There's a safe. Is there a gun there? Maybe not. Right, so don't say that we're home alone. Just get in the lay of the land. I mean, I'm immediately suspicious that we left Petrov in. Because, you know, what's to say that he's not one of these alien buddies? There's nothing else I can do, so let's chat to him again. Right, so I just wasted that. Okay. Well, I take it we can't look out the windows on this occasion, but, um... I take it we sleep until the evening.
now we're going to let people in. Or perhaps we're not. So can I speak? No, I can't open the doors at night. So it's just the, the main front door that I have. Okay. Well, let's see. Is my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. Yeah, what's your father's name? Did you forget his name? Oh, you're checking to see if I'm a visitor. You're smart. I'll start checking people now, too. Hmm. I don't know. Everyone is scared of them. I'm scared of them, too. I haven't seen one of them. Are they scared? Do they hurt? If my friend from school hit me hard, is he a visitor, too? Daddy said to be careful. I'm very careful. I came here very quietly. No one saw me. Thanks. Good luck to you too. We go now. I'm scared to be outside alone at night. We're going to play a game. He made me some kind of game where you have to roll dice and then walk onto objects. I mean, like a chair or a couch. And then you have to build a road. Anyway, I'll show you later. Goodbye. Oh, so that, that was her... Right. So they, did they leave? Does that mean I'm alone? I'm not entirely sure of the mechanics of the game yet. Right, there's more people trying to get in. I was hiding in a pub, but I was kicked out. Why? Hmm. Not everyone can handle my temper. But I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't get me wrong. It's just, sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. What do you think? Will you let me in? You're not a visitor, ain't you? Are you sure there won't be any trouble with you? What do you mean by troubles, homeowner? Murder and fights are against my soul, but I let no harm come to myself. You just said you got in trouble for fighting in the pub. Now it's against your soul? You just, you just give me all the suspicions. You're just raising that bar of suspicion on me. What I like is eating and drinking and talking in good mood. Is that a problem? Why did you kick you out of your last shelter? Why do you think it'll be different? I mean, we, he already told us that he got into a fight, but maybe we try to eke some information out from him. Now he's just quiet. I was thinking to tell you something offensive, but I changed my mind. I told you, people just felt uncomfortable with me. There were all sorts of weirdos. When I think about it, maybe it was for the best they kicked me out. Or maybe you're your visitor, and they knew that you're a visitor. I mean, look at you, you tall, lanky string bean. Those would have eaten me out alive and not even noticed. Yeah, why not? Thanks. Trust in people nowadays is worth no more than a coin. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. Alright, I can't promise anything. Oh. What's with the slopey shoulders? Sorry for disturbing you so late. It's just too hot during the day. The TV said it's better not to go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? Who are you? Yeah. Hmm. I used to live closer to the town. The asphalt heats up pretty intensely out there. <laughs> I used to work as a cashier. Not anymore, though. I got fired. Just didn't have any luck with work. What are you going to do now? Hmm. I'll try to survive somehow. It scares me, of course, with these visitors around and the sun blazing like just hell. I really want to live. <laughs> uh oh. Ain't you scared? Please tell me it's going to be all right soon. Yeah, come in. Come in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, really. Oh, God. I'll live one more day. See, with, with seems no one else will come tonight. So, I really want to look out the window, because our, fan, our friend Pavlov told us to do that. But, um, yeah. So, we have two visitors now. Uh, we have the, the, the guy who seems to like fighting, and the weird cashier with the slopey shoulders. But then everyone looks a bit weird in this game, right? We interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.28am, there was a powerful solar energy eruption. 
This flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now onto the news. Aliens? People emerging from underground? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contact with visitors around the city. One witness encountered a middle-aged man who had perfectly white teeth. It turns out he was one of these visitors. Right, pay attention to their teeth. Similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect teeth have been observed, so if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now, let's move on to other news. Okay, so let's let's go find our new friends. Uh, here's the tall guy. Let's have a little chat with him. Yeah, you want something? How do you recognize a visitor? What do you know about the cataclysm? I need to check on you. Let's ask him first, how do you recognize a visitor? I know no more than you. Visitors can be identified by perfectly white teeth. This is fucking bullshit. They just want us to kill each other. And it's not clear why. So I've used one up. Let's, um... I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. You want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. I mean, would you say that's perfectly white? I think that's okay. Got a bit of a bit of stainage on the front teeth here. I think he's fine. Yellowish, huh? Well, don't fuck me with your tests. I'm not a visitor. I think he's okay. I think he's fine. I mean, can we look out the window yet? How do we look out the window? That's what I want to know. The newscast told us that, um, can we, can we click on, no, we can't, okay. I think we, uh, need to check on our slopey shouldered friend. Where are you, slopey shoulder? Not in the kitchen. You're in the closet? You're in the pantry? She's in the pantry! Aha! Uh -huh. Hopefully this will be all over soon. I'm gonna ask to check on the teeth first. What do you wanna check? Your teeth. Ah. Uh. Are you going to make decisions based on teeth? Uh-oh. I've had my teeth re fixed recently. Uh, although, to be honest, I can't remember when I've been to the dentist. Have I even been to one? God, I can't remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. Perfectly white. Perfectly white. That's not good. That's not a good sign. Does that... Do I fit the description? Oh, wow. That can't be. I can't be a visitor, yes? Oh, no. Oh, I, I wasn't expect. I didn't know I had a shotgun. And what do these visitors want exactly? They could be friendly. We don't know. We don't know enough information yet. The cataclysm is obviously coming from the sun. Doesn't mean that. You know what? I'm going to hear you out. It can't be. It can't be, can it? I remember my life. Nothing in it. Nothing like that. Oh, I didn't. I, I was just hearing her out. I can still shoot her, right? If, if given the chance. I do have one more. I mean... Do these visitors even mean us harm? We don't know. She has perfectly white teeth. Do I become a stone-blooded killer? Do I shoot her? Or do we, do we need to have more information? What are these visitors going to do? Okay, I'll tell you what. We're, we're going to let her be. We're going to drink some beer. Let's just see if she has any information. What do you know about the cataclysm? Ah, uh, oh, 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 oh. I don't even know what I was saying. I decided to look out the window and I wish I hadn't looked out there. The sun just burned some kids. I don't want to die from the burning sun so badly. I'd rather die a quick and painless death than die from the sun in agony. I don't want to be burned to death. I don't. No. It's only going to get worse. I know it. We're all going to die. I'm sorry. I'm very worried. Well, I guess we don't really have any more options. Maybe I should have killed her. Because I do believe she's a visitor. But the point being is, we really don't know what the visitors want from us. Are they... Do, do we know that they're trying to cause us harm? We don't know that. They're just trying to hide away from the cataclysm just as much as we are. Maybe they'll provide us with some kind of protection. I don't know yet. We don't have enough information. Let's look out the door. 
Let me tell you right away, I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find some peace at your place? Who are you? It doesn't matter anymore. You're asking if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor, but there is something I would ask of you. Later. I'm not sure yet. Take off your jacket? No. It's okay if you don't let me in. I'll just keep moving. I'm not going to beg or bother you. Oh, come in. The ceiling is a little low here, but I'll be fine. Why not? I'm just going to invite everyone in. I'm just going to invite them all in. We don't know if these visitors have anything against us, so why not? How fortunate we are! We've witnessed firsthand the consequences of human passions. The earth will be cleansed, the sun will do its work, and we will go to a new clean world. That's the fucking good news! <laughs> You're scaring me. Are you out of your mind? Listen to me, I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns us for a reason. It bakes sins out of us. We've all done all sorts of things, and now the sun is angry. Gives his hit to us. And that's a good thing. All our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. You mean we all have to die? What's going to happen to you then? What's it got to do with me? We're all going to live well right after the sun helps. The sun will just help us get rid of all this stuff, you know? No? You understand everything. That's why you're alive. Yeah, come in. I can tell you a lot more about all this. Do you have any beer? I forgot to ask. Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we are participants too. Who are you? Just a person. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. I came out of the shadows. I'll stay in the shadows. What are you talking about? That's how you look at it. What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Open at the beginning, top paragraph. Open near the middle, last paragraph. The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. Interesting. So, I think we may have made a mistake by letting in the, the guy almost preacher-esque guy talking about the sun and our sins, but hey-ho, we've got, we've got board for everyone. Why not try and help? Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal, and experts predict that it will continue to intensify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to this situation, authorities urgently ramped up FEMA operations, FEMA is an acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff members wear yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA Special Committee started functioning recently, but they've discovered a new indicator of visitors. Well, that's good to know. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that, besides teeth, visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. As reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse. For some unknown reason, she had dirt under her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, promptly contact FEMA members or call the hotline at 0451. Please stay alert and calm, and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now, let's move on to move on news. So now we have five energy. Still can't look out the windows, so I'm not entirely sure what we're meant to be looking for. Um, I mean, I think he's. I think the tall man's okay. So let's let's talk to um, our bluish friend here. I wish there was some warmth. Okay, we're gonna take two and talk to her. What do you know about the cataclysm? Enough to make you think about the end of the world. I'm not happy about it, but I'm not sad about it either. I don't care what happens next. And then we gotta check under our nails. What do you want to check? Let's check your hands. Nails? I'll show you. Hmm, looks like I chipped them all up or something. But take a look anyway. I mean... She's a zombie, right? She's definitely a visitor. But once again... They're just, they're just looking for somewhere to... They haven't... Either this is going to end really badly for me. I'm going to do this. I'm going to save all the visitors. 
Because so far in my head, they haven't caused me a problem. You know. Are they, if they're going to end up eating me, then maybe, yeah, sure. Do you think my fingernails fit the sign of a visitor? Yes, I do. They're half chipped and half black. Oh, got it. I think there's something special with this one. I'm going to hear her out. You know, I'm so tired of living. Oh. Meanwhile, in the other houses, someone must have killed someone, I guess. Why is it like that? Ever wonder? I, I heard her out. Is she still alive? I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. And now there's weird noises. Let's check. Is our friend in here? No. I didn't mean to do that. We're going to check on our... He's just sitting in the bathroom. Oh, I can't talk to him? Is that right? Is that what you're telling me? Just check on your hands. Show your fingernails. An interesting sign for sure. Let's see. I mean, they're pretty dirty. I mean, she's clearly a visitor, right? <laughs> Maybe someone got me dirty. I mean, I was trying to help the visitors. What a shame. I was trying to help them all. I heard they're out. Can I talk to you yet? I can't seem to talk to you. You're just going to sit in, in in my um in my bathroom like a little hobgoblin. Okay. I'm feeling drowsy. I had the best intentions. Okay? I just have to say that. I had the best intentions. I wanted to save everyone. I wanted to try and save everyone. I went for the option of hear them out, but I shot them anyway. I don't know what to tell you. That changes things. That changes the game dynamic now. Um, are you just a, a naked guy? Are you naked? You're running around in the dark butt naked? I mean, to be honest with you, if the sun is about to, you know, collide into the earth, or it's about to burn everything during the daytimes, June style, then um, why not? Why not run around butt ass naked at night? Who are you? Nothing. How's it going here? <laughs> I mean, he looks like he's got perfectly white teeth. Why are you ignoring my questioning? Listen, I, are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune. Promising salvation to some, driving some away. I have other people taking shelter here. That's what our friend... You're lucky tonight. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms. But who knows what will happen tomorrow. Okay, creepy guy. Maybe I am right to kill them. Maybe I am right to shoot them. I mean, the, the woman with the slopey shoulders, she didn't seem to have any recognition, but she had perfectly white teeth and she had dirty fingernails. Although that's not... Re Can I rest at your place? Who's the guy on your shoulder? What is going on here? Where, you, where did you come from? I don't remember anymore. I don't care about it. I'm very tired. If I don't get some rest, I'll just collapse from exhaustion. Is your partner sick? That's my husband. He died. So why are you bringing a dead person into my house, man? Come on. I can't bury him properly now. It's pointless to let him go now. Yeah, come in. I don't think I'll stay long. I just need a break. Bring bring your dead husband in. We'll put him in the in the bathroom with the with the guy who thinks the sun is like some kind of god, some deity. You see what's going on? Fucking hell. How's it going down here? What's going on? New opportunities. Can't you fucking see? Everybody's whining, running around, fussing. But you can just do things from the heart. That's all. We should be happy. In short. What are you offering? Survive. What else is there? We gotta make plans while we can. To hell with the sun. Keep moving, you know. Let's go, shall we? Yeah. You know what? He's a man of a plan. He's like Brad Pitt in World War Z. You gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving, baby. Yeah. Oh, 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 now we're talking. Finally, someone with some sense, bitch. Maybe I made a mistake. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe I was wrong. But, you know, I like the fact that he was like, come on, you've got to keep moving. We've got to survive. We've got to make plans. It's so quiet at night. Hi, can I come in? Have you been watching the house? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, of course not. It's rare for a house full of people to be so quiet at night. Someone forgets themselves in alcohol and yells. Someone screams in pain and burns. Someone just screams of unbearable sorrow. Who are you? I'm a traveling doctor now. Hospitals are chaotic. I highly advise against going there. I've operated on people. I'm a surgeon. There wasn't enough funding at our hospital, so I've done a lot of other jobs that aren't typically mine. Now I just go around helping whoever I can. Yeah. I hope I can help someone. He's a doctor. I'm not going to turn that down. I'm not going to turn that down. Wow, there's a lot of people tonight. Oh, was that? I heard knocking at the door. Someone's playing silly. Someone's playing silly buggers with me. Someone's running around. There. Oh, I can open the window. There's a group of armed soldiers outside the window. Apparently, they are a small unit sent here from the city to provide security for the EC. You can only hear bits and pieces of phrases about a pale man with a bare torso. Yeah. Maybe they want to track down that creepy stranger. You feel relieved that there are people ready to deal with a dangerous guest on the streets. Deal with them, eh? Is this like the door? If I open it again, will they still be there? Yeah, they're still there. Okay. So, was I- I was checking the, the- the windows at night and I didn't see anything. The bodies of teenagers burned to death on the ground. They seem to have been lying here all day. Two emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. It's good that there are these that can remove the bodies. It's scary to imagine what kind of contagion could appear of the rotting bodies and not removed from the streets. That's FEMA doing their work. And then we have one more window at the end here. I probably should have been checking these at night as well, so I've probably missed a bit of information. So uh, I apologize for that. There is a small group of FEMA staff standing outside a neighbor's house. I wonder what they're talking about. Maybe they're taking soil samples. Or are they looking for a place to set up base? It makes you feel a little better to think that someone is trying to make sense of this nightmare. Hmm. Or... Or... They're gonna burn us. It's very true, they could burn us. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. The Valiant Dima staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors is directed there. Some people express concern that the identity of visitors remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they are merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Additionally, FEMA has identified a new indicator of visitors, intensely irritated blood red eyes. This information was discovered through experiments with detained guests. According to FEMA experts, the irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now, let's move on to other news. Yeah, I have a really bad feeling that I shouldn't have killed the, the person in blue. But to be honest... What the hell was that? What the hell was that? There was someone there who just disappeared. Yeah, you want something? Do we need to stick together? Depends on your point of view. It's hard to do it alone. You can't survive without a group now. But on the other hand, you see it yourself because of the visitors. It's hard to trust people. How can you build a group if anyone can be a bastard? I think we're earning his trust. Maybe? Not entirely sure. There's no one in here. <laughs> What's up, bitch? I mean, do we need to stick together? Fuck, that's fucking awesome. No shit. Like, I'm really glad you let me in. You're fucking awesome. Not like every other motherfucker in this house. You should have fucking told them to fuck off on the doorstep. I think it's better to turn it into the femur and be done with it. You can't get fucked up with groceries like that. But you're the boss anyway. And as they say, the boss is the boss. <laughs> Let's check my friend here. I need to check on you. Why do you want to check? Let's check your hands first. Come on, I'm fine. I don't do anything with my nails. Look. He's got good nails. He's got good nails. I wash. I just didn't have time to rinse my hands today. Usually my nails are clean, bitch. I think he's okay. 
Let's check on some some other people first before we um, start shooting people. So the doctor, the doctor's got that blue hue again, like the other one with the. Mm. Do we need to stick together? I think so, but you can't be too careful. Remember what happened in hospital. I hate to see it happen again. Man is a reasonable creature, but a crowd, a crowd is a stupid beast. I mean, we've got to check him. Why do you need to check? Let's check his hands first. Yes, I've operated so many people with these hands. I could tell you so many stories, but maybe another time. Now, please look. They're clean. They're clean. I try to keep these arms toned so I don't slack off. Who knows what tomorrow might bring. We've only got two more, so I think he's okay, but he does have that blue hue. So, did our... Did our friend disappear during the night? Is that what happens? Um... I need to get some rest. I think I should check on you. What do you need to check? Let's check your hands. Hands. Wait a second. My hands are tired from carrying the one they refuse to save. They're clean. No, I'm not going to shoot you. What about... Uh, do we need to stick together? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's hard for me to think right now. I just need to take a little rest, that's all. Let me rest, please. I'm really tired. Okay, I'll let you rest. We don't have any... But where did the guy go... Where did the guy go that was talking about the sun, right? But they seem to be all present and accounted for. So that's good. That's a good sign, right? I've killed those... Who were potential visitors. I mean, I could have just been killing people that had dirty nails. I mean, that's pretty messed up. But you never know. You never do know. Right, let's open a window. Let's see. Oh, a neighbor's house, which was recently painted white, burned to the ground and is now completely black. The fire seems to have died down recently. Did someone set it on fire on purpose? What happened to the neighbor's family? Did anyone survive? Why did they burn the house down? Your head is filled with anxious thoughts and a feeling of incomprehension and helplessness. Yeah, that's, that's what FEMA did, right? They burnt down the goddamn house. And they'll probably burn this one down as well. Oh, a pale creepy man stands in the road and smiles. He has someone's severed head in his hand, wearing a helmet. Oh, that's not good. It's a soldier's head, with a grimace of horror frozen on his face. You are very uncomfortable with what you see. Yes. Very uncomfortable indeed. Oh dear. The entire squad of soldiers who were here yesterday are dead. The bodies are strewn all over the street, and one of the bodies is missing a head. Did that pale, creepy stranger kill them all? You are horrified by this picture of carnage, and you feel in danger. Okie doke then. So let's, uh, we're not gonna let him in. <clears throat> I'm from the Freema crew, we're here to help you. Yeah, you came alone? No, of course not. Our crew is going door to door in the neighborhood. We're splitting up to get the job done faster. I won't be staying long. What are you wearing a hazmat suit? Are we setting... Oh. Yeah. Are we getting one of those? There's no reason to be afraid. The suit is in case we catch the sunrise. Is it though? Is it? I mean, the pale blue people, they could be spreading some kind of contagion. Hmm, so is it better to shoot them on sight? I don't know, the doctor seemed fine. Civilians don't need it now, just stay, just stay home. We'll take care of you. I, yeah. Do you have an action plan? Of course, it's not like we can act spontaneously. We'll take any one person with us for examination. Since you may have been exposed to solar radiation, we'll check the health of one. Based on that, we'll decide if you all need help. It can be anyone. Do I have to pack two? No, you are, as I understand it, the owner of the house. You stay here for now. I'll just be burnt alive at the end, like my neighbors. We'll take the man away for a while, then decide what to do next. We'll issue instructions afterwards. I'll now take the man with us. We're leaving. So, I think he was okay. He was fine. Goodbye. I have a room full of... I have a house full of people that are fine. It's, it's okay. So, are we taking on more people? Is that what we're saying? What the mess? Did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here are revealed. Finally, nobody's pretending. 
Are you one of the beasts? We're all the same beast. If you deny it long enough, you'll be eaten alive, no bones left. Now the new order is whoever is the strongest is right. Whoever says he's not one of these kind of people will be dead tomorrow. How many houses have you switched? How have you survived all this time? I'm going to say how many houses. I haven't been anywhere for a long time. But everywhere I see chaos. Fear blinds people to so many things. You still have some order. That's interesting. I'd like to see you keep it. Yeah, come in. An intelligent decision. The Force now rules your life and you either accept it or you get in trouble. Is he a Jedi? Have we just accepted a Jedi into our house? I like it. Why not? I'll take a Jedi any time of the week. But if you've got dirty fingernails, I gotta, I gotta kill you. Let, oh, this is the daughter. Let me in. Did something happen? My, my dad, my... Killed my the, the dad. Oh, no. Who did this? Drink some water. We had visitors. They sat in our room. Dad, Daddy was talking to them about something, and then they killed him. Our house is now on fire. Oh, no. But, hang on. Hear me out. She is a visitor, right? She is clearly a visitor. We'll check her. She'll come in. We're just going to leave her. We'll come in. Can you help me? Yeah, I just said. I'm scared. Come in. But I know you're a visitor. And if I have to do what I have to do to make sure... I'm not from around here. I don't like staying in place one too long. Can't roam around as much anymore. Getting too old for that. Too old for that shit. Why do you travel? Yeah, those very ones. Have you seen what the visitors are up to? Every house. Someone's killed. Someone else is torn apart. They pretend to be one of us, and then, man, all hell breaks loose. We need to wipe out these visitors. Do you want to kill these visitors? Aren't you doing the same thing? Or do you just tell them to shoo? You're not stupid, right? You kick them out, but tomorrow they'll tear you apart and won't even remember your name. Get it? You gotta be careful with them. That's the thing. Yeah, coming in. I knew you weren't a pushover. A real man. We'll mix it up with these visitors. They won't come us near by a mile. So all it takes is one to be in the house, is that right? Anybody home? You looking for someone? I'm not looking for anyone. I just need a place to hide. The whole neighborhood is being kicked out. And no one knows where to go. Now I'm running around in shock looking for a place to live. Why did they kick you out? They said there was a big sunstroke or something on our house. Those in yellow suits kicked us out. Someone was grabbed, taken for tests. Some were released. I think I've got a full house enough. You better leave. Well, don't open the door to those yellow ones anyway. Well, you generally don't open the door anymore. <laughs> I'll bring my people over here and help you save yourself. <laughs> I think I might the right decision there. Um, yellow people? Blue people? All kinds of people? No, I think I, I saw the uh, information that I needed to for the night. Um, so no, tomorrow we've got a big job ahead of us. Um, yeah. We've got some new visitors. We're going to have to check on the little girl. Because I have a slight suspicion that she is a visitor. <clears throat> oh, what was that? I missed that. I looked away from the screen. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. FEMA continues to identify new signs of visitors. According to their data, attempts to photograph visitors result in severe blurring in the photos. Ah, this effect can only be observed with film cameras. Unfortunately, the reasons for this phenomenon have not been determined yet. However, FEMA urges citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to other news. Right, so I've got quite a few bits of energy here. Let's check in. So, our man... Why are you staring at the goddamn... Our man, our tall man, was taken by FEMA. Whether he'll come back alive to us or not is yet to be determined. Um, do you have a question for me? I don't want to waste... Let's check to see. I need to check on you. Why do you want to check? Let's take a photo. I don't like having my picture taken. Those pictures don't end up in the trash later. I'll have to take action. Do you understand that? You notice the picture seems fine, but it's being snatched out of your hands. Give it to me. I'll throw them out myself. It seemed fine? You have a question for me? I'm going to check on you. I'm going to check your... Uh, check your hands. 
Why do you hear about my hands? Yeah, I have to kill recently. They tried to kill me. I'm not just science to stand out to be killed. Some people freeze in danger, others run. I'm the type who fights back. He does have dirty nails, but he looked fine in the picture. So what do you want to do? Shoot me? Really? Now I'm going to hear him out. I could be faster than you. Then I'll have to do... Oh, uh, okay. I think he's okay. The, the picture didn't come out blurry. There's no one in there. Oh, we got quite a few people there. Keep your eyes open. The visitor could be any one of us. What do you want to check? A photo. I don't really like taking pictures. The flash reminds me of a thunderstorm. It makes me panic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks for understanding. I don't like that stuff. The pictures, the sudden flashes, the sounds. Err. I'm not interested. So let's see if he's got red eyes. I once had color in my eyes. Now, of course, this kind of life only gives you gray eyes. They're not red. They're not red. Well, I'll get them all. I'll tear them apart with my hands. Then we'll try to live in peace again. I mean, he could be suffering from some kind of form of PTSD. That's why he doesn't like the flash. I get that. We checked you out, so you're fine. Let's talk to the little girl. I, I want my mama. I need to, I, do, I mean, I need to check on her. She's not going to know anything about FEMA. What do you want to check? She, if she, she'll, she'll like having her picture taken, right? Photo? I'm not really into photo f f photography. What will you show me a photo later? You're taking a picture of her. Photo came out a little blurry. The girl ran up to you without waiting for the end of the photo shoot. All right, we're gonna have to check her. Oh, right, my, my mama. Let's check your eyes. Can you look inside my eyes? Will you see everything I'm thinking? I'll be careful what I think then, don't worry. They're green. That's fine. Rah, I, I want a drink. We've only got three more questions to ask. I do want to check her fingernails, but it said red, so I think I think we're okay for the moment. We could be wrong about uh, the Logan looking guy. He he had perfectly fine fingernails, but Let's take a photo of him. No problem. I understand we need to check his signs, including this one. Taking pictures of the doctor, nothing out of the ordinary. Why do you think? I think you're okay, my doctor friend. I think you're fine. Um, okay, there's bin bags. What does that mean? Did they leave? Did the woman leave? I don't know. So if there is a visitor amongst us, I mean, the photo, okay, here's my thinking. The photo came out fine for the mafioso guy, right? But his fingernails were dirty. Let's try another test with him. You got a question for me? What do you want to check? Um, let's see your teeth. Watch it. If you attack me, I'll bite your neck with these teeth. He's, this guy's a visitor, right? Because. Ah, uh, I don't know. He's got gold teeth, so that doesn't take... But they, they do look stained. They don't look perfectly white. I take care of my teeth. And those that are missing... No, I'm going to hear him out. Okay, I think he's okay. We've got our last question. I think we're going to ask the old man Logan stuff. Hold up, wrong room. I think he's a visitor. I think he's a visitor. I'm gonna have to kill him. Holy shit! Sorry. Sorry, little girl, that you had to witness that act, but... You know what? I... His... He pointed to all the signs of being a visitor. He didn't want us taking a photo. His hands were... His hands were... Dirty, right? And his teeth were perfectly white, so... I mean... I may have made a mistake. Our mafioso guy could have been the um, visitor. 
All right, let's check the windows. You're looking at your neighbor's house. Only a ghostly silhouette remains. You're devastated by what you've seen. It seems to disturb you even more to realize that it's not the evil guests who are to blame, but people with paranoia. That's what this is all about, right? This is what it's all about. I've killed three people. I've killed three people. Because I'm being paranoid. Because I'm checking their, their goddamn nails. And their eyes. It brings you anxiety. I'm, I'm the bad guy in this, aren't I? I'm the bad guy. All the people are perfectly normal. All the people, it's just, it's just heat stroke. You see a steak with a helmet skull on it. There's some black burnt skin left on the skull, and the teeth look like someone pulled them out. The head has been here all day. A whole grim display looks like a threat, surely left by that creepy pale visitor. I mean, he's the crazy one. But am I the crazy one? I mean, I've just been shotgunning people left, right, and center now. There is a dead man hanging suspended from a lamppost with a sign around his neck. It says, visitors are not welcome. Looks like the poor guy was mistaken for a guest and killed in a lynching. The thought of violence engulfing a once peaceful and quiet town breaks your heart and makes you long for quicker ta quieter times. Well, there we go. We're with the FEMA team. We need to do a survey of your neighborhood. The man you took isn't enough? Last one? Oh that. The examination procedure is quite exhausting. Right now your man is in rehabilitation. Is that what you call it? Is that what you call it? I don't know. After he rests, we'll bring him back right away. Sure you will. Sure you will. Why was one not enough? The sample is too small. Of course it is. The boss first said to take one at a time. But now we can see that we need more. So we went out again. Yeah, I'm not interested in these examinations. You don't get it. We didn't give... Oh, no. We just keep doing our job. You can't say no. Oh, not the doctor guy. I need the doctor guy. He was the only one that proved like he had nothing wrong with him. We'll do what we need to do and leave. Bye, Doc. Nice knowing you. Sorry that the FEMA are going to kill you. Oh, it's the creepy guy. What do you think of that one in the suit? Is he... Am I talking, or...? Is he talking about the mafioso guy? He's doing his job, or is he talking... No, he's talking about the hazmat suit guy. I don't know how to feel about him. What's not to know? Okay, anyway, I don't care. I'm kind of busy, so come back later. Can you leave? I understand. Of course. I'll come back later. Just... Say, are you alone in the house? Yeah, I have other people there. Getting ready? Do you know what you're getting ready for? It's the last days. Didn't they tell you? Dogs rule the world, and only dogs will be here. Have a good stay. So I'm guessing one of the mechanics is, if we kill everyone, or there's someone, like, we're the only one in the house, this guy's gonna come in and kill us, right? But what comes next is a terrible secret. You're back. It's not for long. I just walk around and observe what's happening, how the world is changing. And I don't yet feel that the glaciers are coming to melt a time anytime soon. Looks like we're in for birds raining from the sky. These are like some kind of prophetic guy that's walking around with his fortune book. What does that mean? You tell me. Is this supposed to be the end? Or are we yet to smell more gunpowder? I can't see beyond my own nose anymore. Probably nothing to wait for. What should we do? I don't know. I'll just keep watching. That's all I can do. What will you do? Well, I think I'm going to burn in hell because I've already killed three potentially innocent people. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling now that there is no contagion. There are no visitors. I'm just shooting people because of paranoia. No one there. No one else seems to come tonight. So, yeah. We got the creepy dude. We're not going to let him in. I think we made the right decision not to let him in because he's just going on a killing spree. The other people, though, the mafioso guy, not so sure. Not so sure. But we'll find out, I guess. Or maybe not. This seems to be a long screen. Oh, no. I think the mafioso guy was a visitor. He's killed everyone, right? Or the game's just crashed. I don't want to sleep. I have enough energy to talk with someone. Oh. 
Yeah, I think I've glitched the game out. Oh no! Oh! Residents complain about the lack of food and water in the quarantine zones. I don't want to sleep. I have enough energy to talk with- no. Stay tuned for later updates. So- oh, okay. Oh, okay. Do we know what happened? There you go, guys. That was another two games from the VHS anthology. Um, I ate old man's liver and the... I ate old man's liver, now this bitch is mine. Um, I enjoyed the frantic fun uh, trying to, you know, at the end of the day, it's basically trying to avoid the trees. But I like the storyline. Um, the old man in particular was one ghastly fellow um, in his sled. But, uh, and young Jacob was eaten by the wolves. Um, in the, uh, I'm not an inhuman, I'm an imposter, where you have to try and deduct um, who's human and who's not. There were some other themes going on at play here as well, uh, with FEMA trying to take people away. Were they actually taking them away to do their investigations, or were they just kind of killing them off? Um, I like the concept of the creepy man walking around. Um, I think the game glitched at the end. I'm not sure. It didn't really give me any kind of end result, uh, which either I think meant that there was an imposter or a, there was a, a visitor in the house and maybe that person killed everyone, or I just glitched it out. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to kind of go back and because I wouldn't know what options I've taken. I, I think I could have tried to save everyone. This is definitely something that I'll probably come back to, but in my own time. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below as always. I really think you should check out this anthology. Uh, there's some great games in this one. Uh, my favorite out of all of them will probably be the I'm not a human, I'm an imposter, because I like the storyline. I liked it made you think that maybe you going around killing people that are meant to be aliens, maybe you're the you're the psychopath, you know? I like games that kind of draw inward and make you think. I was planning, and here's the thing, I was planning to save everyone. And the woman in the in the jacket, uh, I did say hear her out, but it shot her anyway. So maybe that is just a mechanic of the game, um, that it gives you that kind of uh illusion of choice but there is no choice you actually do have to kill her and that gives you the kind of impetus that maybe later on oh maybe these things are real and maybe i will kill them but i really enjoyed it uh i just think that maybe at the end maybe i glitched it out or maybe that was the end uh maybe it is meant to be left ambiguous to see whether you are you know who you say you are and fema maybe burnt the neighbor's house down was the little girl an imposter or was she a, a visitor who knows um maybe you can play this for yourself and let me know in the comments below if you find different endings i would love to know more about that and yeah if you haven't already please sub to let me know that you're not just a visitor uh, i'll see you on the next one stay ghoulish bye